You know, the Southern Nevada Water Authority is out there on social media, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and it gives us an opportunity to engage with the community. But sometimes we get questions back that eh, are a little more difficult for us to answer in a written response. So we thought we would take this opportunity and provide you some responses to some of the more interesting questions that we receive. So the first one we have here is, it's actually scientifically impossible to waste water. Now I think what this individual is saying is that any water that gets used outdoors is, if it's not getting soaked into the soil, it's going to evaporate. And then it's gonna go up into the clouds and ultimately it's gonna fall back down to earth as rain. The challenge is, is that once that water here in Southern Nevada gets wasted, it evaporates away, goes up into the clouds, it probably doesn't fall back down in our community. It falls somewhere else. Here in Southern Nevada, what we consider to be water waste is water that flows off of your property, into the street, into the gutter, and into the sidewalks. That's what we want to avoid. It's the water we use outdoors that we only get to use once, so use that as efficiently as possible. If I save water, I still get charged the same. Why would I do it if there's no reason to? Lower my bill, and maybe I will. But one thing that's important to remember is that the water that gets delivered to your home and the bill that you pay for that, well, that primarily encompasses the cost associating with treatment and delivery of that water. And remember that that water gets treated to drinking water standards. And that water gets delivered not just to your area, not just to your neighborhood, but actually to the taps inside your home. So every time you go to the tap and that water is there, we meet the demand. So water can certainly be free, you can take a big bucket and head on out to Lake Mead and bring that on home with you. But you're not going to get the treatment and you're not going to get the delivery. And our next comment is, I'll stop watering my lawn when the Bellagio turns off their fountain. Well, we hear this a lot. And certainly there is the perception that the Bellagio fountain is a large water waster or a large water user. In fact, that's kind of the perception of the entire Las Vegas Strip. But that would be a misperception. In fact, the Las Vegas Strip only uses 7% of all of the water that gets provided in Southern Nevada. And the water that's in the Bellagio Fountain, yeah, that's not Colorado River water. That is water that is fed from a private well owned by the hotel, and that pumps brackish groundwater into the fountain. And do you know how many people come from all over the world to stand on the Las Vegas Strip and watch that fountain dance? That alone is an economic benefit to our community. There is plenty of water, don't worry about it. The Colorado River is a never ending source. They just closed the dams upriver to make you think that the reservoir is lower than it was years ago because of the drought. They totally manipulate the water to make you think that and charge you more money. Well, I can certainly say without question, the drought that we've been experiencing in the Colorado River Basin is real. It is not a hoax. And in fact, the flows of the Colorado River have been reduced to an average of 75% over the past 19 years. If we look at those 19 years, we have only had five years of above average flows. The remaining 14 years have been below average. So the dams aren't being manipulated to make you think that there's a drought. In fact, the dams are there to store water in Lake Mead during the wet years so that it's available to us in the dry years. And for our final one here, I pee in the shower is that bad? Well, I can certainly say that it is not bad. Feel free to go ahead and pee in the shower. Hey, remember that the water that you're using in your shower is going into the sanitary sewer system. And the water that you're using from your toilet every time you flush it also goes into the sanitary sewer system. Now the water that we use indoors, whether it's from your shower, from your toilet, from your sink, all of that water gets reclaimed and we can return it safely back to Lake Mead. So peeing in the shower, that's gonna save you a couple of flushes and save you a couple of gallons. And if you wanna take that a step further, well, find a partner and shower with them. Oh! Hey, we really appreciate all of these comments. We hope that you appreciate our responses. If you have comments that you wanna to provide to us, find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, visit snwa.com. Stay water smart and keep conserving Southern Nevada.